Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Diablo Immortal video. So today, I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial on how these cursed towers work and why we should be doing it. Because if you guys don't have a client right now that registered for this shit, you're going to fall behind so hard that you might as well just quit the game and wait until Diablo 4 comes out. Because let's take a look over here. So right now, my client registered for the Tower of Fortitude and that gives 20% increased damage in Battlegrounds, the Cursed Tower, Shadow Wars, Red of Exile, and Challenge of the Immortal. 20% damage extra on top of what you already have, you're gonna do a billion damage to somebody. You're gonna one-shot them, right? Quick math, guys. So luckily, my clan is great, and we're one of the strongest clans in the game, and the server right now. So we register for one of the best towers, and what you gotta do right now, during the first week, as the patch notes say, this is a strictly PvE only, not PvP, player versus enemy farming for shards. And it's actually pretty cool, I'll show you guys how it works. Oh yeah guys, um, this this map is pretty big, so I I suggest- Hold on, can I invite people? Oh, I can invite people, that's it. Anyways, so I suggest putting a speed boat on. Right now I'm on my buddy's account, who's Seder, I put the ugliest skin on. <laughs> 7k resto, look at that, sexy! Oh. You can choose a path, you go here. Just kill things. Things are immune, so you just gotta go to the left and collect shards. Very simple. Destroy that. You kill these things. You try to collect as many cursed shards as possible. And you gotta do it fast, because you only have 44 seconds remaining now to get as many shards as possible. Take a speed build, guys, because this is gonna be... We're gonna be running. We're ever running. So I farmed above 568 shards. The more shards you farm, the higher the rewards are when you return to this purification brazier, brazier. So, purified, improving the maximum single whatever I just said, and I got some loot. No legendaries though? I, I think a one Lego? Maybe? No, no Legos. But yeah, this is essentially pretty simple. It's actually pretty fun too. I like that a lot. It's just a swarm of monsters killing you. So your goal is to essentially just farm as many shards as possible in that limited time that you have. And that's pretty much it. And you want to keep doing this pretty much all day because within that one week, every other clan is also going to be competing to dominate this tower. So within the one week right now until next week, the clan with the highest clan points will occupy this tower. So right now we're rank one. Like I said, we are the best client on the server. <laughs> so, if we can claim this tower, we get it for the whole week for 20% extra PvP damage. But, the week after, people can start challenging us in PvP. That's where the 10v10 PvP mode comes in. And they can actually, another client can challenge us. And if they win, they will claim that tower as their own. Right now, what you guys be doing is you guys should not be farming the overworld. Farm this shit. And I hope you guys chose a tower that's actually beneficial for you guys, not something stupid like challenge rips orbs. I don't know who the fuck will you register for this. Like, no one cares about that. This is what, what is this? Increase experience with best shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, hell query rates, combat rating increased by 50. See, there's a lot of shitty ones, I guess. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of towers. There's 50 towers, I think, right now. Is this how it works? I don't, I don't remember exactly towers. But there's a lot of towers, there will eventually be more, I see over here. So if you zoom out from the map, eventually we can dominate more towers. Right now there's only, oh, oh 35 towers, okay, sorry about that. My, my math is not very good today, okay. But Tower 69, for example, eventually we'll be able to dominate two towers. And look at this one, another PvP 20% increased damage. So if we were able to own two towers right now, like the clan occupy own two towers maximum, if we can have 40% damage increase in Battlegrounds, you're fucked. You're done. <laughs> there is no way that you can really like challenge that. Like even with all the shadow buffs and shit, we're gonna do one trillion damage to you guys. You're done. Just just quit the game. It's done. <laughs> but yeah, um, essentially that's pretty much it. And what you guys should be doing right now, you should not be doing any battlegrounds. You should not be doing any farming in the overworld. No raiding. I don't see anybody doing anything else. Okay, just farm the cursed towers and that's it. Because I want to see everybody just delete people in battlegrounds. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace!